I'm at an interesting point in my life in regards to mental health as a man. I've always, I was always pretty open-minded about the idea of therapy. I've been in and out of, of counselors and whatever most of my adult life um, for short periods. You know, sometimes you have a bad time and you want to talk to somebody about it, get some things straight, develop some new behaviors, and then you go on your merry way until the next disaster happens. That's been my story. Um, but I'm discovering now, as I get older, I'm in my mid-30s now, um, that talking and the traditional form of forms of, of like mainstream therapy, it doesn't really do much for me anymore. It doesn't really seem very beneficial or a good use of my time. It's not very cathartic. And part of the issue is because we all have such unique perspectives, everything in the world is relative, right? It's relative to your experience. And nobody else can share that experience, or if they do, it's very, very rare. And most professional therapists or counselors will certainly not have shared my experience of isolation. In fact, I would be very surprised if there's very many people in the Western world, <laughs> in my country, uh, that have shared my experience. Which is fine. You don't have to have the exact same perspective to be able to talk to somebody, to be able to share. In fact, sharing is better when you don't have the same perspective because it's more interesting, you get more of a bond from it. But when it comes to understanding, and I mean really understanding, where a type of anger or a type of depression comes from, because from your perspective, the person looking at it, at me, it seems like nothing. And the issue is, a lot of people will say that it's nothing. They will darn play it. They will tell you that it's not a big deal. Well, you don't do that because everybody has a different perspective with different gravity attached to different events or otherwise. So I've always had this issue where the things that bother me and the way that I articulate that is not respected by most people. Therefore, I don't really get much out of talking because I don't share that camaraderie. I can't if I'm not being respected. It just becomes a regurgitation of facts at that point. And I've talked to other men who kind of have this issue too. So how do you fix yourself as a man when all forms of self-help is geared towards this idea of fixed sessions and talking with somebody who will not understand your perspective to begin with? and will not respect it anyway. See, that's a very difficult problem to solve. And we, we live in such a pro mental health culture at the moment, especially since COVID. In my country, there's an especial, there's a special push to help. Well, to at least acknowledge men and men's health because the suicide rate here for men, particularly young men, is 
the highest in the UK and Ireland, I think. You know, and there are reasons for that. Um, but I suppose the conundrum is, how do you do that when it doesn't work anymore? Um, how do you fix somebody like that? I suppose you don't. And I find that as I get older, you almost get treated like a lost cause. Um, there's, there's an atmosphere. It doesn't matter what kind of social situation you're in. If you're the type of man that I am, and which is single and unmarried or divorced and no kids and you're not really involved in society that much um there's an atmosphere there's there's a danger associated with you there's almost like an attitude uh, unconscious attitude um of of keep away of being lost of being edgy or something um and that is a problem because if you can't get help for your mental health through the, the normal means then the solution is to help yourself right you know the healthiest way probably for somebody like me to help myself with my particular issues would be to volunteer or get involved in society in some capacity. Um, and I did do this. And no, it did not go well. Um, to, you know, because of this, this climate of strange man talking about things, you know, being articulate uh, about his, his issues in the appropriate context, not just walking in at seven o'clock in the morning and being like, I'm fucking depressed, you know, that's not what I mean. There's a, there's a time and place for everything. So that's the problem that I have, and I, I don't think that I'm unique in that. Uh, and I get, I get frustrated because I've always been told my whole life to... Oh, I've been told two things, and they both contrast. I've been told to get over it and deal with it yourself, or talk to somebody and get help. These two don't match, but I do them both anyway, simultaneously. <laughs> and both don't work, you know, with the way things are at the moment, at least for me. It might work for other people, but for me, it doesn't. Um, so that's where I'm at. That's my interesting uh, conundrum, I suppose, that probably won't get resolved. And I'll just bury myself in work again until I blow up in another year. But uh, that's my experience as a... As a dude, I suppose. Yeah.